carefully. Here we got a poster which is to have an area of 216 square inch with one inch margins at the bottom and sides and a two inch margin at the top. So you can just draw a diagram. So let's, uh, okay, let me finish sharing. Find the exact, find the exact dimensions that will give the largest printed area. So we wanna find the exact dimension so that the printed area. So here, the printed area goes here inside. Okay. So we wanna maximize this area. So find the exact dimension means let the dimensions of the poster be x and y. Okay. Now the constraint here is the poster is to have an area of 216 square inch. So the total area x times y that is 216 square inch. And as soon as we write this equ uh, an equation that's the relationship between x and y, we need to isolate one of the variables. We can isolate y for divide both sides by x. So y equals 216 over x. Later, when, as soon as we find the value of x, we come back here and find y. Next is objective function. So we want to maximize or minimize something that's objective function. In this case, uh, let's read the question. We got more cases here. A poster with, with one inch margins at the bottom. So this is one inch, this is also one inch. Okay, one inch, one inch. But at the top, this is two inch. This is one inch. Here also one inch. Okay, one inch, but at the top is two inches. Okay, and we want to maximize this printed area. You know, this area inside. So we want to maximize that. So area, we need to find the area of this printed region and we maximize this. So that's the objective function. Let me write down area of the printed region. So area is always length times width. So what is the length of this printed area? I mean, it could be X or Y, okay, it doesn't matter which one is longer. So the total is X, but here is we are subtracting two out and one out. So two, minus, two plus one, three out from X. So it will be X minus three, okay? So that's uh, X minus three, this side. And this side is now y, but on the right one, one. So minus two, so y minus two. This is the area of this printed region. And we want to maximize this. So this is area, let's multiply. We wanna simplify a foil, x times y, x, y minus two x minus three y minus three minus two plus six. And now, since we are maximizing this area, we need to find its derivative, set it equal zero, then find critical numbers. But first we need to write this function in terms of one variable. We got x and y, so we can use y equals 216 from here, so that everything will be in terms of x. So x times y is 216 over x, in fact, x times y is 216. We could have written 216 directly, cancel anyway. Minus 2x minus 3 times y. y is 216 over x plus 6. Okay, now we can simplify x cancel. Uh, then that's a 216 
and here is 6 so we want to add those two numbers so I'm gonna write that later negative 2x here and here minus 3 times uh, 216 over x so if I multiply this is negative okay so it will be 648 over x 3 times 216 is 648 over x plus 6 plus 216 that's the 216 plus 6 222 so we got area function okay I should have written area a that's the area of printed region now to maximize or minimize we need to find its derivative so next let's find derivative with respect to x so derivative of negative 2x is negative 2 minus a derivative of negative 648 over x okay whenever we have negative 648 over x we can rewrite this as negative 648 times 1 over x and when we find its derivative we are finding its derivative and this constant can be pulled outside negative 648 times just find derivative of 1 over x by this time you've seen a lot of times we can use the quotient rule or 1 over x is same as x raised to negative 1 and we can use the power rule in any case derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared okay that makes negative negative positive 648 times 1 over x squared or, or 648 over x squared so I found the derivative of negative 648 over x that is positive 648 over x squared plus derivative of 222 is 0 okay so let me put this away so you need to know derivative of 1 over x that's negative 1 over x squared that comes often now we want to find the critical numbers because maximums and minimums occur at that means so this one set the derivative 0 that means this fraction equals 0 sorry this expression equals 0 negative 2 plus 648 over x square equals 0 subtract uh, add 2 from 2 on both sides 648 over x square 2 cross multiply okay because 2 is 2 over 1 and we can cross multiply okay that gives 2x square equals 648 divide by 2 324 now take the square root of both sides it comes out to be 18 okay so x is 18 uh, this is x I mean we are trying to determine the determine the dimensions so that's the x equals 18 and we can come back to the constraint and find y from here okay find y using this 216 over 18 but before we find y we need to show x equals 18 indeed maximizes the printed area because we want to find largest printed area so how come how come x equals 18 maximizes this area that's another question so what we have to do is uh, we have two options we can use second derivative test that means find this is first derivative here we can find second derivative if second derivative is negative for x equals 18 that means x equals 18 maximizes okay that will be the local maximum 
and we have only one maximum in this question so that will be absolute maximum as well so to show so we can decide to show f equals 18 maximizes the objective function maximizes the objective function uh, we find second derivative let's find second derivative this is zero derivative of negative 2 is 0 648 times 1 over x square okay you can think this one is 648 times 1 over x square which is x to the negative 2 then that is in fact when we find the derivative that's negative 2 times 648 times x raised to negative 2 minus 1 negative 3 and I want to put negative on the bottom so this is second derivative this is negative 2 times 648 over x cube and x is 18 if we plug in the x equals 18 this is going to be negative number because of this negative sign so this one is negative for x equals 18 in fact for any x positive this is going to be negative because positive cube is positive and everything will be positive but because of this negative it's going to be negative that means from the second derivative test x equals 18 maximizes this area function because its second derivative is negative that implies x equals 18 maximizes this function a where a happens to be the objective function that is the area of the printer region and this is the only maximum we have so this will be the absolute maximum as well so this proves thus the final answer the dimensions thus thus the dimensions are obviously x and y x is 18 now we need to write inches y is 216 over x so 216 over 18 inches which is what 18 1 12 okay 18 and 12 okay final 